Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to add and use superscript and subscript text within AutoCAD. This is going to work within uh, leaders, dimensions, M text uh, throughout your drawing and it's going to save you a bunch of time uh, whether you're using workarounds or maybe you already know this trick. Uh, I think it's going to be helpful. Uh, if you guys like this, don't forget to subscribe and check out my AutoCAD productivity webinar where I've got an hour's worth of tips, tricks, and workflows uh, kind of crammed into it for you guys to enjoy. I'll put a link with a discount code in the description below uh, as well as up above right now. All right, let's get going. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, we're gonna be looking at superscript and subscript text within AutoCAD. I'm gonna demo it on these M text pieces here. Uh, and we can also look at some of the custom symbols you can add using M text as well, which can be super helpful. Uh, so first you're gonna want a, uh, an M text object. And then from there, you're gonna type in the text that you want either subscript or superscript. So above or below, uh, your initial letter or text. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna put the 100 down below. So to do that, we have a couple options. Uh, one way that I had always done it in the past was add another number and a slash, and then you can select the text, right click and choose stack. Now this also works if you add the caret symbol, which is like the little uh, upside down triangle or hat. Uh, so shift six, and then if you select that text, including the carrot and right click and choose stack, it's going to add your text down below here. And if you undo that and put the carrot on the end and select your text, right click and hit stack, that's going to add your text up above. So you've got super or subscript. Uh, added to your text automatically using a simple uh, character and then just choosing stack. Now you can also jump into some of the details and settings. So we're going to use the one and a slash here. So 150th. We're going to select all that text and hit stack. So this is a way you can make fractions uh, quickly within AutoCAD as well. And by double clicking on it, you're gonna bring up the stack properties. This works for either uh, way of doing it. And from here, you can customize what the upper or lower text is. So if I wanted just the lower 50 here, I can just delete the one and hit okay. It's gonna be there. I can also get rid of this line by selecting it, double clicking, and then you can choose here the style. So a tolerance is not going to have the horizontal line, whereas a fraction horizontal will, you can also change it to fraction diagonal or decimal. So if we change it here to tolerance and hit OK, this is going to remove that and you're going to get the 50 down below. You can also modify the text size here if you'd like it a little bit smaller or a little bigger, you would change it in the stack properties window here. So by hitting OK, you've got the two examples here. Now on the uh, M here, I'm going to show you guys another way you can do things and that's with short codes. You can Google these. I'll put a link down below to a bunch of them. Uh, so if I just delete the three there, hold the alt button and hit the 0178 and let go, you're going to get a two. I'm going to do it again here and hold alt 0179 and that's going to give us the three for cubed. So we can do that again in uh, a bunch of different combinations. Again, I'll put the link to all those alt code uh, kind of numbers down below. Uh, but built into AutoCAD, we also have the option to add a lot of these symbols by this drop down up top here. So by hitting it, you can see what's available, including the degree symbol, plus minus, diameter, almost equal, a lot of other useful ones, ohm, omega, property line. Uh, subscript of the number two. Uh, so lots of different options built right in. You can also hit other to bring up a uh, table here or a dialog box with all of the different symbol options that you can add. Simply select it, copy it, and then you can paste it in or double click it to add it to your text. 
Uh, but that's all for today. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit about subscript and superscript text, as well as adding some custom symbols into your text. If you guys have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and check out the productivity webinar if you guys are looking for more tips. I'll put that link in the description as well. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.